The question that has been around since swimming is in Fortnite. Can you actually dive properly? And yes, we can just force people to dive underwater. There will be a point where they take damage and just die. But we want to create a mechanic where you don't die underwater, but you can also swim on top. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today. Well, first things first, this is our empty pool. This one we want to swim, dive, and we can also jump out of it. So the first thing that we need to do is add water. For that, obviously, we're gonna use the water device. So that already looks super nice. But now we still have the same problem. We can swim in it and we can dive for a few seconds, but we cannot really stay underwater. So what we actually want to do is make sure that we have just a tiny, tiny little bit of water on top. All right, so what we now created is a nice surface which we can swim in. So actually we can jump up here and we can actually swim in here or we can actually dive down and currently do nothing here. Currently this looks more like a secret cave entrance or something. So now to create an underwater look, we need a Skydome device. And in the Skydome device, we need to change a few settings to make it look like this. The settings in this device are these here, and um, you can very customize this, especially at the horizon fog density um, can be really adjusted. As you can see, we're now on 60, and there's not really much fog you can say. But if we go and crank this up to like 80, you can see this looks like a very like deep underwater cave or something. You can really crank this up as much as you want to. I want some really clear water, so we're gonna leave this on 60. Um, I would not recommend going less than 60 because then it starts looking pretty odd. Um, but on the colors, you can basically decide whatever you want here. So now we need to do two more things. The first one being making this as big as our pool. So we want to go in here and change the volume depth. Basically, now we covered our entire water pool. And um, there's one little thing which is important here. You can see this looks very nice underwater. But if we jump up, we still have this water effect, which we don't really want. So the important thing here is to make this actually a little bit lower. So actually, if we jump into the water on top, our feet are not sticking inside of the device anymore. So if you jump up here, you can see now we have the clear vision. And if we jump down again, we have the water vision. So that right now looks really cool and it looks really convincing, but it doesn't really give us any diving vibes. So we actually need to start implementing a diving mechanic. And for the underwater diving, we are going to use the skydive device. In the skydive device, there are a few settings which are very crucial. The first one is being that you put the zone obviously to off, so we don't want to see anything that is skydiving related. We also don't want any glider redeploy, and we, the most important thing is we don't want any skydiving VFX. So turn all of these off, and then we want to have two channels for player entering and leaving their skydive device. I'm going to show you guys in a second why, um, but first of all, there's one more thing to it. We didn't adjust the skydive device, if we go up here, we cannot swim in the water. We are still in the skydiving motion, which can look pretty cool as well, but that's not what we want to achieve. So for that, we can also make the zone height a little bit smaller. So we kind of have this like kind of space in between the swimmable water and the skydive device. So as you can see, it still works fine, but now we also have the option to go up here and swim in the normal water. So we can just swim normally here. We can dive down. Now we're diving again, and we can also just go back up and swim in the normal water. But there's one last little detail which we want to do. That is when player enters and when player leaves, we want to actually add a few things which make the skydiving a little bit more realistic. And in this case, we want to add a few water bubbles to our player if the player is diving, because obviously that makes sense. If someone is moving in water, there's water bubbles. So we go on the a VFX creator and you can find basically this VFX creator on the Spanky Sally website. But I made a few adjustments to it because I think it looks a little bit more realistic if you set the sprint speed down to 25. And if you also set the effect generation amount a little bit lower, I think this looks a little bit more cleaner and realistic. And now the only thing that we have to do is make sure that we set this to our player as soon as the player dives into the water. So spawn player at channel one, which is entering the diving zone and removing the effect when the player is leaving the diving zone. And with that, we create a fully functioning diving mechanic. We can jump into the water, dive down. You can see now the water bubbles are on the screen. It is actually not from the water on top. Create a full map that is underwater without taking any damage or having anything like special forcing people underwater. And then we can also just very simply just dive up and swim again. Here's one last quick tip to make your underwater scenarios look even better than before. And that is you can actually use the bubbles that we just used on a player. You can also use them in your terrain. And all you have to do for this one is just copy the view effects, make sure that it's obviously not stacking on a player anymore. And then you can place it on different water plants and like maybe animals that you created for your underwater world underwater. And some of you guys might think that the fishing device is one of the only devices that kind of gives us the underwater look here. Uh, while it's true, it's a little bit overused, but I personally also think that the firefly spawner in combination with the VFX created with the bubbles can really make a huge difference for your underwater world. And that wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you learned something and I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye.